Pete is going to the pet store. He's going to get a pet. Pete wants a bird, a hamster, or a lizard. But then Pete sees a goldfish. That's what I want, he tells his mom. Pete's mom gets fish food. I'm going to call you Goldie, Pete says to his new pet. You are my first pet, Pete tells Goldie on the way home. Pete takes Goldie to his room. He feeds her fish food. Now what? asks Pete. He can't play with Goldie. He can't swim with her. Pete knows what he can do. Pete paints a picture of Goldie. He paints four fins and an orange tail. What a pretty painting! says Pete's mom. You can keep it, says Pete. Cool painting, says Bob. Can you make one for me? Sure, says Pete. Pete paints a picture for Bob. Wow, says Bob. It looks just like Goldie. Bob shows Pete's painting to his friend Tom. Now Tom wants a painting too. Pete paints another picture of Goldie to take to school for show and tell. This is Goldie, my pet fish, Pete tells his class. And then the other cats say, one says cute fish, another one says cool colors, and another cat says nice work. I wish I had a picture of Goldie, says Benny. I'll make you one, says Pete. Everyone in Pete's class wants a painting of Goldie. Pete's grandma wants a painting too. Pete has a lot to do. He has to feed Goldie. He has to do homework. Pete paints and paints. He makes paintings for everyone on his list. At last, Pete is done. He worked hard. There is no paint left. Pete's paintings are a big hit. Pete is happy to be done. But Pete is not done. Now everyone in town wants a painting of Goldie. Pete gets some more paint. I don't know what to do, he says to his mom. I wish I could paint pictures for everyone. I just don't have time. Pete's mom has an idea. She tells it to Pete. Great idea, says Pete. Pete gets right to it. This time he works outside and makes a huge painting. Honk, honk, beep, beep, here comes Pete. He has made one painting of Goldie for everyone in town to enjoy. What a great day. When Pete gets home, he tells the real Goldie all about it.